Hunnigan, what happened? The transmission got cut off. <laughs> Salazar, how'd you... We've jacked the line. We didn't want you telling everyone any unnecessary information. Where's Ashley? Ah, oh, so she fell into one of our wonderful traps. We'll make sure we find her. Don't you worry about her. Oh, yes. I let our miserable insects out for some exercise down in the sewer. Thanks. That should keep me company, because boredom kills me. I look forward to our next encounter in another life. Hello, everybody. Ragtag Sagby here. Welcome to the next episode. Oh, Ashley's on the other side. I better find a way, another route quick. In the last episode, we explored more of the castle. Castle, because our main way through has been blocked. Uh, but, as we were exploring, we've had to fight our way through the cultists in this room, as well as fighting a dangerous blind guy in the prison. And we got here, and Ashley, being an idiot, rushed on ahead and got captured. So I believe this door we need to go through. But if we come through here, uh, there's the merchant, which I forgot to... Hey, I also forgot to check around the rooms. So I forgot to smash open pots and whatnot. But also, we got this this door. This, this very special door. Which I think you only run into these uh, doors in the castle. Ah, so I don't think they appear at any other later points in the game. So one thing I am quickly gonna do from the merchant is buy the scope. What are you buying? Do, 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 do. So give me the semi-auto. Stranger. Oop! Didn't mean to combine those, but okay. <laughs> Thank you. So combine this with. Sniper rifle, so now we have a much more better scope. Now let's check this out. Seems like the merchant has his own little special room. Welcome. For this game, you need to use weapons that I have selected, stranger. Choose your weapon type, type stranger, so we can either go for rapid fire or sniping. I believe sniping is ideal. So he'll give us a handgun, unfortunately it's the starting handgun, and the bolt action rifle. So how do you feel about a shooting gallery? actually help if I hit the targets. So the male Gonados, if you shoot them, they're worth, uh, I think, 50 points for a body shot and 100 for... Damn it. Females are worth a uh, double. And the Salazar head, which I tried to go for, if you shoot that, I believe that is worth, I think, 500 points. How did it miss? There you go, 500 points. Plus the resulting explosion should take out some of the uh, targets. You also want to be careful because I believe at some point there will be Ashley targets and if you shoot those, they will take away points. And miss the Salazar. So I hit most of the targets. Score number of prizes one. Now I forget how many times you need to do this to get all the prizes.
I don't know how that was not considered a headshot. Can you please fire? So surprised we haven't seen a Salazar head at all. Damn it. Where the hell is the Salazar head? It should have appeared by now. Does it not appear if I'm using a rifle? where the hell the Celazar head was because it never showed up. Barely got it. How did that miss? Damn it, missed the Salazar. Two prizes have been won. Yeah, forget all the rewards for this. I might come back and do a bit of this off screen because I forget all the requirements for the rewards. All right, but I know that depending on how you do, your target practice. Game rules, reward, receive prizes, Receive prizes by scoring uh, above 3,000 points. Bonus points will be awarded for headshots. High scoring Salazar target will appear air, air excessive hits. Shooting an Ashley target will deduct points. Here we go. Bottle cap 1 will be awarded for every 3,000 points. Special bottle caps will be awarded either by shooting all wooden targets except Ashley or scoring 4,000 points. Uh, there are 24 bottle caps in all. Each one, you enter a new shooting range. Six new bottle caps will be available. Each time you complete a row on, on the collector's base, you will earn bonus points. There are a total of four rows. You have to clear. You have four bonus chances. Reviewing the key items. So if I show, I'll show you this, so here we can um, get our bottle caps. So here you can look at them and they even make sounds. Leon, help! Leon, help! Leon! If you ever want to annoy someone to the point they want to murder you, Leon, play this over and over again at somebody. So I got two of the bottle caps. So yeah, there's six. I might go for the remaining bottle caps off screen. Mean possibly. I do know that I believe you get all six. I believe he does reward you with money, so I don't know if I'm going to go out of my way to get all the bottle caps, but I thought I would show it off. Or, yeah, I might come back and do this off screen. It's just, it was easiest to do in the Wii version because the Wii, because it was so easy to aim with the Wii remote. 
Yeah, those are the shooting galleries, so... I might do them off-screen. Um, we'll see. So it's time to meet a new enemy type, if I remember correctly. How do I not have room for a flash grenade? Put that there. So now we're going to encounter a very, very hated enemy type. Because he mentioned he released insects. And he means them literally. So you want to pay attention to your environment. Because the annoying thing about these little bugs that Salazar sent to us, which I think we'll be encountering them throughout the majority of the castle, is that they are invisible. They are invisible and very hard to spot. sort of have to listen out for them and also I believe they drool so if you notice water coming somewhere where it doesn't make sense generally shoot just above the drool and you should hit them So I'm just being cautious here, because I know that if you keep a sharp eye out, you can spot them before they attack you. Like there, you might be notice this. And you can also just barely make out its shape. Luckily, they are incredibly weak to headshots, so if you can shoot them in the head, uh, you can very easily kill them. And they also drop items known as the as the eyes. He dropped a green eye. This is, I believe, to an item we've yet to collect. And I think only they drop them. And it's completely random what eye they drop. Their rarest eye, I believe they can drop, which I think is like a 5% chance or something like that, is, I believe, the blue eye. You also want to listen into the environment for movement, because if you hear movement that's not coming from you, that means there's generally uh, one of those bugs that are nearby. And I forget, I think they also have an instant kill move, or they have an attack that just does a shit ton of damage if they get a hold of you. Because I know their gimmick is that they can spit acid. So I just want to move very slowly throughout here. Oh shit! Okay, I wasn't expecting one to literally show up right in front of my face. Because I saw the one climbing. Come on. Wait, let's stand back here so that way if any of them come I can see them. Try to get down the stairs. Okay, that was very weird behavior of him. Oh yeah, I can see you down there. 
Uh, do be careful, they are capable of jumping up to where you are. Okay, you're gonna be an idiot like your brother. Let's just line up my sniper rifle, shall we? I also notice I think they are particularly weak to the sniper rifle. So if you can spot them before they see you, you can generally take them out pretty quickly with the rifle. TMP. All right, one comes out of to ambush you. Also, a neat little thing when they jump for you, you can, if you get that kick prompt, you can kick them away, which does stun them momentarily. Let's, put a, let's grab the shoddy, the herb. They are also particularly weak to the shotgun if you can get them close enough to you. Okay, I see you. Where are you? Where the hell did you come from? Alright, they can climb on the goddamn ceilings. And I died. I forgot they could go on the ceilings. Alright, how far back are you putting me? Beginning of area, Jesus Christ. Alright, I can't fit a flash grenade for some stupid reason. Very easily kill you. Let's go get your eye. Yeah, if I remember the drops, the green eye is the most common. The red eye is semi-common. And I think it's either the blue or purple eye, I think it's what's called, is a rare drop. You can go an entire playthrough without these guys ever dropping it, and they only appear in the castle. They don't appear anywhere else in the game, as far as my memory goes. So that is something I hope for the remake they change about these guys, and make it so that way their items are more easily accessible, or their drop rates are a bit better. I have to guess, I think I can see them if I look down here. One I can get a headshot on. A little further, I might be able to spot the other one. Get the, get the treasure. One was kind enough to drop the blue eye. Okay, I am running away. I do not care. I am going back to the save point. Because I am going to save. 
Because that is a rare drop and I do not want to risk dying again. So let's go all the way back to the typewriter. Oh, uh, where's the typewriter? Yes, I want to save this blue eye that I've just got. Thank you. Now back into the sewers. I can't believe I got a blue eye that that soon. I'm kind of happy we died now because it got me the blue eye. Yeah, if I remember, I can't sneak up on the one that comes from down here because... Oh, no, wait! can see him. Can I be able to get a shot on him? I can see the drool. I don't know if I can get a shot on him before he comes down. I think he's just high enough that I can't snipe him. I knew about your buddy. Any more that want to show up? Let's get the shotgun ready because I think one more does spawn in. Shells, get me the eye. I hear you. Where are you? Catch on fire. Give me those shotgun shells. Lewis's memo. There are some parasites that have the ability to control their hosts. This is basic knowledge among, among biologists. But what is not much known is how the parasites do it. Studying these parasites specifically might reveal some clues as to how the powers of the Lost Plagas work. Perhaps provide some insight on the victims of the Lost Plagas, the Los Osconados. Here's a list of some of the parasites that have the ability to manipulate the behavior patterns of their hosts. The Delirorecum, I think is how you say that. Once the lava of this parasite migrates to the ant's sarcophagus, it alters the behavior of the ant. When the temperature drops in the evening, the infected ant climbs to the top of a plant and churms on a leaf using its mandible. It stays there immobile until the next morning, placing the ant where it's most vulnerable to be eaten by a browsing a carnivore such as a sheep. One could include that the parasite is manipulating the host's behavior to make its way into the body of, of a definitive host. The Gotterusmon. 
The lava of the parasite makes its home inside the brain of a fish as the yellow tail and the parrot aired bass. Once infected, the fish make their way up the river's surface where they swim until eaten by seabirds. Once again, this particular behavior can only be explained by the parasite's desire to get into the bodies of the seabirds. The Lucariaeum. This parasite eyed sport sporocris develops in, a in, the in the snail's tentacles. The Scarabdotis is our vital in color and, po and postnate community somewhat like a worm. Surprisingly, the infected snail makes its way to the top of a plant where it's more visible to the eyes of birds, therefore more likely to be eaten. Once eaten by a bird, the parasite will complete its metamorphosis into an adult. Grab the- I have no room for shotgun shells. God damn it. We got a dead guy here. He had a yellow herb, so let's combine that with one of our green herbs. It looks like, like he was alive until just recently. Judging by the wound, it was a quick death. This door is too rusted and won't budge. Oh yeah, I think if I remember correctly, a bug comes bursting out of that door. Yeah, I think any of the doors that are too rusted to move, I think a bug comes bursting out. Yeah, because if I remember correctly, I believe we lowered the water. Ah, here we go. The butterfly lamp. This is another one of the treasures that need items to be combined. So those eyes we've been collecting goes into the butterfly lamp. And the blue eye is the rarest. So let's put that in. I don't know why I've not found the jewels to the elegant masks as of yet. Because I should have found the other jewels at this point. Or I think they might be a little later in the castle. Okay, so we just need one more eye and we can complete that butterfly mass. Uh, yeah, mix it with that so we have a full heal. No room for shotgun ammo. So I'll probably come back in here to grab said shotgun ammo when we deal with the bugs. Okay, that's me moving. I'm like... Are there more bugs? Because I haven't even drained the water yet. Alright, here we go. If I remember correctly, I think the bugs do come bursting out. Oh shit! Forgot there was one there! Where did it go? I hear another one. And I see you right next to me. Whoa, another blue's eye. Jesus Christ! I'm like, yeah, the blue eyes is like really rare. They're like a 5% drop or something like that. And I get two blue eyes! Really? Apparently complain and the game will give it to you. Jesus! Because I'm like, oh, you know, they're the rarest... You know, they're pretty rare. They're like a 5% chance. So you're mostly going to get blue eyes and the occasional red. And then the game's like, oh, you want some blue eyes? Here you go. Yeah, 
Now I see you up there. Oh, I hear another one. Where are you? You're not spitting on me, that's for sure. Here, have an incendiary. Oh, uh, apparently you refuse to burn to death? I'm sorry, what? I don't think you're immune to fire. Oh, another blue eye? What is my luck today? It's like, yeah, have three of the rarest drops those bugs can drop. Alright, where's that shotgun ammo? I think there was shotgun ammo back in, uh, where the water bow is, so... I think I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm gonna go back to the typewriter and go save, because there's... There's no way I'm not saving after that, Jesus. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, I might do the, uh, gallery off-screen. And, oh, really? The ammo despawned? Screw you, game. Yeah, so I'm probably going to do the shooty gallery off screen if I get the chance. Um, maybe try to collect the bottle caps. Because I think if you get all six bottle caps from each gallery, the merchant gives you like a shit ton of money or something like that. It's just not as easy in other versions because the easiest was to do it in the Wii version because you could aim with the Wii remote. But anyway, as I go to the typewriter, if you enjoyed this episode, do like the video as it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. It doesn't cost you a thing to do so, and it helps you keep up to date with my videos. Oh, um, let's see if we can. Are there enemies? Because I can hear music. Uh, let's see if we can get maybe like a hundred or so likes on this, and do share the video so more people can discover my content and uh, and help the channel grow. And also leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And I'll see you next time. Later.